So, we are in the epic zone. There is Broken Top, the namesake for this whole area. To me, the star of this hike. There is Sisters. I hope these are coming in, how beautiful this is. There's our red clay zone we're about to hike up. And look at this, as we go by this glacier and we ascend this very steep little section. We will be going up to the red clay ridgeline alpine zone, I like to call it. But look at this. I'm not gonna burst up this too quickly because what's the point? Look at these mountain views. We got the sisters, middle, north, south. We got broken top. We got this pretty epic volcanic, almost like a cone we're climbing up. That's what it feels like. It's a volcanic landmark. And we're enjoying broken top, sisters and sisters. Three sisters, middle, north, south. 10,300, 10,100, and 9,800 elevation peak. Our friend straight ahead, Broken Top, which to me is the main star of this hike because it starts at Three Creek Lake Driftwood Campground, camping parking spot, across the street for Tamar Cross Trail. Summit for that is about 9,100 feet. We're coming up to 8,300 feet soon. We're probably about 8,100 feet right now, 81, 82. We'll be to 83, 76 when we get to Broken Hand. But look at this. Broken Top, our three sisters' friends. Gosh, this is beautiful. Kind of a neat perspective at the trail we've been hiking on down on the glacier. That glacier will not melt this summer, so it makes the glacier. Continuing to hike along. This is pretty epic. Not good to lie. Even Alpine on that side. And we have made it, my friends, my dear friends, to the red clay bridge line. Alpine zone. This to me, right here, this next mile or so. Or at the start of it, the best part of this whole hike. Can you imagine doing the ultra versions of Tim MacArthur Rim Trail, not getting up here? Are you out of your mind? This is the best part of the whole trail, right here. The red clay ridge line, Alpine Zone. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at the incredible beauty of this area. It's my favorite area of. Tam across the room trail. I have colloquially called this the red clay ridgeline alpine zone. It's all this red clay. You got broken top, and you got the three sisters, middle, north, south. You get all the best mountains of central Oregon, all the usual suspects in their prime. Make a perfect money shot view of each of them. Not only that, but this ridgeline is great trail, super safe feeling. Um, if, you, if you're like me, you've climbed a lot of mountains. Some have that sketchy, sketchy feel. This is not one of them. It's a well graded, well sloped, feels perfectly safe. This is, a, this is really a perfect trail as far as I'm concerned. This is to me is a crown jewel of Central Oregon. I have what I call the seven wonders of Three Sisters Wilderness, because I'm that much of a dork. And this is one of the seven Tim MacArthur Rim Trail. Um, take it to either Broken Hand or all the way down to Bend Glacier, No Name Lake. If you take it to Broken Hand, which I am on my way to now, it's 9.3 miles and 1,800 foot elevation gain, very doable. Look at that view of Broken Top. This is one of the most mountain horrific hikes in all of Central Oregon and all of Oregon. When I reference the Red Clay Ridgeline Alpine Zone, this right here is exactly what I'm talking about. One of the most special places right here. And it's really not that hard to achieve. I mean, I think this is a world-class hike. Even 
that way is beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it's not, ironically, so beautiful up here that that looks less impressive than this, but normally that would be the show in itself. I think that if you ever come to Central Oregon, mark down Tam MacArthur Rim Trail as one of your, one of your must-dos. Absolutely, like, look at this. This is epic. You will not be disappointed if you climb up here. I will tell you that. I defy a human being to climb up here and say, eh, that wasn't that great. I mean, if you have even an ounce of appreciation and love for mountains and alpine zones and wilderness, then you will fall in love with this area, I guarantee you. I will say this is a perfect hike. It just costs a dollar at recreation.gov. I was super lucky because um, they, they released sub a week before the rest, two days before. I don't really have a facilities planner and try to grab right when they released the first time. We get two bites of the apple. But I did this on a whim. I, I booked this last night. I literally booked it Sunday night, came Monday morning. Woke up at four, got here at six. Um, there was four, four permits left. And I think the only reason I was able to do that is because this is Monday morning, which is the least popular day for all these reasons. Um, Every, every day of the rest of the week is booked. So uh, I got super lucky to be able to. That's not typical of uh, what you can do. I just got super lucky because it would have to be Monday. So do plan ahead. But, and then I also recommend when you print it out, just when you book it, print it out at the time and fold it up and put it in your pocket of the jacket you're gonna wear uh, when you're ready. Because every, almost everybody I know forgets to print it out that morning. If you leave yourself a little like, oh yeah, that morning I'm going to wake up and print it out. You won't. You'll forget. And then there's no point in getting the permit if you're not going to bring it with you. You're not going to have reception to get it up on your phone. So, And the sisters, look at this. This is beautiful. This is incredible. Truly legendary, incredible. Let's get back in here. So right now I'm on my way to Broken Hand. We'll see how far I want to go. If I want to stop at Broken Hand or depending on the conditions. I can move on to Bend Glacier and No Name Lake. This is one of the highlight parts of the Broken Top backpacking loop, which I would argue is one of the two best alpine mountain backpacking loops in the state of Oregon along the Timberline Loop. So this is a feature section of it sections so this is a heaven zone I like to call it an alpine heaven zone I like there's just a few trees it's like just the mix is perfect it's enough trees for visual interest but not so much that it obscures point 10 mountains hard to keep track so many mountains so much alpine joy Come to Central Oregon, mark down Tam MacArthur Rim Trail, and hike to this red zone. This is where it's at. 9.3 miles, 1,800 foot elevation gain. And this is like hike of your life type stuff. Like book a list. I'll remember the rest of my life quality. It's just what you want in a destination hike. Oh my gosh. I got lucky. Blue sky, coming in the morning worked out. It's like 40s, 50s with wind, so I'm super comfortable. I'll go over to the valley section. It's actually windy up here, so I'm actually feeling quite nice. I never get sick of looking at these mountains. This is a part of Central Oregon, one of the seven wonders of Three Sisters Wilderness. Getting up to a climbing formation section. Climb over this thing. I 
Look at the beauty of the Sisters Mountains. This is incredible. I'm gonna climb over this bad boy and keep going. But I'll have to stop for a second. But I will stop here and show you the view. Absolutely beautiful. We're here in Tam MacArthur Rim Trail here in Central Oregon. And we are ascending through what I like to call the red clay ridgeline alpine zone towards Broken Top. We've got a cornucopia of epic mountains in this area. Also, got panoramic views of distant mountains in every direction. So we got about 10 mountains in all on this trail. As I said, I like to call it the Red Clay Ridgeline Alpine Zone. So if you look this up on all trails, they just have you stopping at the overlook. Do not do that. All trails is wrong. Um, not that they're wrong. I think they have a separate broken top trail, but do not stop at the overlook at the 5.3, 1400 foot elevation gain to think you've seen the best. No, that's just a point one. Continue on the unmaintained trail and you get to go through an epic alpine meadow, epic alpine tundra, and you go through the red clay bridge line, the alpine zone I just went through where you can see 10 mountains in every direction. I just went through that. Now I'm continuing up through this alpine tundra section. We're at about 8,300 feet and currently right now ascending towards Broken Hand, which is officially 8,376 feet. Got here at six o'clock. Um, woke up at four. First one on the trailhead. That one doesn't really matter as much other than the fact that I'm having a private wilderness adventure experience. I haven't seen a single soul to do this whole hike by myself. And also for temperature management, I got here in the 40s. I'd rather do this whole thing in the 40s, 50s, 60s, since it is completely exposed, than come at noon or two and do this in the 70s, 80s, 90s. No bueno. I'm going a minimum of the 9.3 miles and 1800 foot elevation gain to um, broken hand. We'll see, I may continue on to No Name Glacier. And I'm sorry, Ben Glacier, No Name Lake. So we shall see on that. But just checking out this side trail. And we'll come around here. on the trail. I love how mangled these trees are. Um, if you think about it, this area is like covered in snow about 10 months a year. We're in that magic two month window where humans can actually come up here. So that much snow and the weight of the snow and the wind and the storms wreaks havoc on these trees. So they end up looking all mangled. as we continue to climb along. Oh my gosh. And the Alpine eye candy opens up. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. These rocks are the trail. A little bit of an incline section. There's a rocky section looking down on the basin. I will keep hiking this way on the trail. See straight ahead. Just keeps going and going. And we got a little signage coming up here. Hiking up to a broken hand shortly. 8,276 feet. 
We're camping within a quarter mile of No Man Lake. We are getting close. On the other side of this ridge is Ben Glacier and No Name Lake. This is also one of the key highlight zones of Broken Top Loop, which I think is one of the two premier mountain backpacking loops in Oregon, along with Jim Lee Loop. 8376 up here. The sisters across the way are 10,003, 10,100. Broken Top, the other side of this ridge is 9,100, so we're in the 8, 9, 10,000 range. Very good for your soul. Life affirming, soul rejuvenating. Crisp mountain air, beautiful environment. Kind of interesting, there's only about two months of the year you can even come up here. Like August, we'll say 10 weeks. August 1st to like October 15th. It's your 50, that's your 10 week window. The rest of the year, it's snowed in. You will not be able to get up here. So, kind of in that magic. I call it the Alpine window. A couple months a year, you can actually do the seven or so premium hikes in the Three Sisters Wilderness. Because I'm a dork, I like to name things. I call them the seven wonders of Three Sisters. Basically just seven premium, first class, world class, high quality hikes. And this is one of them, Tam MacArthur Rim Trail. We have made it to Broken Hand area. So you get it, the mountain's called Broken Top, it's called Broken Hand. They got a whole theme going on. We got the sisters. We got Three Finger Jack, Mount Washington, Jefferson, Hood. Sisters, as I said, Broken Top on the inside of this. We got mountains on the other side. 10 mountains of fun in every direction. That's what's in store for you if you come to Tam MacArthur Rim Trail. And for just a dollar on recreation.gov, you can get a permit. And you could put your own two feet exactly where I walk. So, pretty epic. If you can't tell, I am a fan of this hike. It's one of my favorite. Three Sisters Wilderness is my favorite wilderness area in Oregon. And this being one of the seven wonders of Three Sisters Wilderness, it would by definition be one of my favorite. So, look at how epic this is. This is like legendary. This is ridiculous. The red here is ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. Got that rustic maroon, crimson, Bordeaux red that you only get when you're up in the mountains. I guess if you're at a vineyard. Um, oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna keep trying to climb up. Actually, I might go back from once I came and then turn right at that last fork and try to go up there, see how high I can go, decide if I wanna try to make it. All the sea straight ahead, Broken Top. In Broken Top, there's a cirque uh, called No Name Lake. Uh, and there's also an area called Bend Glacier um, on the other side of that ridge straight ahead to the right of the mountain. Um, so you can hike through this section and then descend the basin down to No Name Lake. And this is actually one of the, arguably the money section of Broken Top Loop, one of the most popular, two of the most popular mountain backpacking loops in Oregon. So I might go check that out, we'll see. But at least if I stop right here and turn around, I'll have done 9.3 miles and 1800 foot elevation. So it's early and I'm still feeling young and sprite. So I will have to make a game time decision. A lot of it has to do with the conditions on the trail, how steep it is, it is and stuff. I didn't bring hiking and trekking poles with me. So let's take a look at the Sisters Mountains and Broken Top. As we ascend Broken Hand, just below Broken Top Mountain, if you get the nomenclature theme. Today is August 15, 2022, a Monday. And I started at 6 a.m. I'm glad I did because it's gonna be a scorcher today. It'll be 80s here. So I started early so I can do this in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Hopefully when I got here, it was in the 40s. I like to do all the climbing elements earlier in the day. Um, to where I'm at now, to Broken Hand from Tamarcroft Rim Trail, parking at Little Three Creek Lake Trailhead. 
I'm, if I turn around right now, it would be a 9.3 mile, 1800 foot elevation gain out and back. I'm gonna press along. The farthest I would go would be to Bend Glacier, No Name Lake as my turnaround point. That would extend it to 11 miles and 2200 foot elevation gain. So we'll see, depending on conditions mainly. I'm up for it, it's just about safety. I don't have trekking poles on me, so we'll see how the conditions are. This area is beautiful. Broken hands a bit steep, but we are rewarded. Some alpine views on the other side. Those are the sisters. Middle north south. 10,300, 10,100, 9,800 foot elevation. And of course, I have our friend, Broken Top, which I view as the star of this hike because parking lot's at the base of it. Of Broken Top, next to Three Creek Lake. Look at how magnificent this section is. This is amazing. World class, I'd say. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. All in all, we got the views of 10 mountains in every direction. We're in the Broken Hand section, Tamarcar Trail. 8,376 foot elevation is about where we're at right now. Definitely well in the Alpine zone. As I said, you can see 10 mountains in every direction. I call this mile, mile and a half section of Ridgeline, the red clay Ridgeline Alpine zone. Because that's what it is. Very distinct, beautiful color and epic panoramic views in every direction. Funny thing is with all these great views to our right, I also have views to our left. Pretty epic. I would say if you look up Tam the Rim Trail and all trails, do not stop at that first. They just have it being like 5.2, 5.3. That's just the first waypoint. Hike way past that where I'm at now. Go on to Broken Hand, which is what I just passed. Or the area I'm in, I should say. And um, at least go there. It's 9.3 miles, 1800 foot elevation gain. If you have it in, you go farther to the bottom, no name lake basin, which would make it 11 miles and 22 foot elevation. It's just not legendary. Look at this. This is legend. This is a legend hike. I'm a gigantic sucker for Three Sisters Wilderness. It's my favorite wilderness area in Oregon. I think it's one of the best wilderness areas in the country, frankly. And I have seven hikes I've dubbed, because I'm a dork, the seven wonders of Three Sisters Wilderness. Well, you guessed it, this is one of them. Tam MacArthur Trail. So, also, if you like backpacking, this is a highlight section of the overall Broken Top Loop. Broken Top Loop and Timberline Loop over Mount Hood. I'd say are the two premier mountain backpacking loops in Oregon. Probably the third one is Three Finger Jack Loop. So probably top three. But. So this is a highlight section of Broken Top Loop backpacking circuit. If you want to capture a lot of the highlights of Three Sisters One Hike, that captures like four or five of my favorite seven areas. So if you want to just do it on one trip if you're a backpacker, I recommend doing the Broken Top Loop. If you're a day hiker, then just come to the Tampa Northern Rim Trail. But go to at least Broken Hand. Do not stop at the overlook. My gosh, this is epic. This is incredible. Enjoying the splendor of the red clay Ridgeline Alpine Zone. Stop and give you a perspective. 
panorama of the Alpine Wonderland. This is a Wonderland, my friend. This is beautiful. Can I interest you in an alpine wonderland? I'm looking across at the Three Sisters Mountains, looking down on Ben Glacier, a couple Cirque Lakes. Let me pan over and show you. There's Broken Top, Purple Nub, I like to call it. Incredible striation, rustic streaks. Down there is No Name Lake, favorite alpine lake in all of Oregon. So that, my friend, is an epic alpine panorama. Truly spectacular. If you ever hear about Benton Glacier, there it is down below. Absolutely spectacular. As we leave the Bend Glacier in Three Sisters Wilderness, with epic views of Broken Top and the Name Lake, let's continue back down our trail. Look at the incredible wonder and beauty of No Name Lake. This is my favorite alpine lake in all of Oregon. You can see the sun glistening on it. It's a blue, green, turquoise color. Still have glaciers on it at the end of summer. Pan over and show you the epic, majestic broken top. Look at this purple nub, I'm gonna say, on the edge of broken top. The texture, the rustic color has actually turned purple from the sun. Got purple streaks down the side of this. Absolutely. Majestic broken top, the texture, the rustic streaks, the character, and of course the amazing, incredible No Name Lake, my favorite alpine cirque lake in all of Oregon, getting a majestic glisten, the sun beaming and shining and glowing off the incredible No Name Lake. Love the turquoise, blue green color. Just this incredible Cirque Alpine Wonderland. No name like nestled and tucked into the crevices of this broken top basin. This, my friend, is Alpine Wonderland. Look at the texture and majesty, the character of the mighty broken top. You got a rustic, almost purple shades of striation coming down this incredible broken top mountain and look at the cirque no name lake my favorite alpine cirque in all of oregon we are hiking through a truly epic alpine wonderland my friend this area is often referred to as a crown jewel of the cascades and i do not believe that is an overstatement i don't think it's an overstatement to say that this is my favorite area in all of Oregon. Three Sisters Wilderness, Broken Top, No Name Lake, Ben Glacier area. It's just a magical alpine wonderland. Frankly, it spoils you for a lot of other hikes because you come up here, see the majesty of this lake and a mighty broken top. And it is hard to enjoy some of the other hikes. Definitely a good problem to have, I would say. I'm gonna start eating some of my pepperoni sticks and uh, drink a sugar-free Powerade. I'm definitely starting to feel the cumulative fatigue of the heat. And then I'm going to descend down, since I've pretty much done all the elevation, and I got the easier half of the hike left. So I should be in good shape. It's a very special hike that you only get maybe 10 weeks a year as far as completely unobstructed with snow. So I definitely schedule my calendar, my annual hiking calendar, just take advantage of the alpine window, I call it. Come up here, the 10 week window, and 
explore No Name Lake and Ben Glacier and Broken Top. I would say this basin right here I'm in, this like Alpine Cirque Mountain Basin, probably my favorite place in all of Oregon. It's just got a majesty to it that is incredible. Kind of got to be here to see it, to believe it. It's probably true of a lot of places, you know, but it is absolutely incredible. It's like milky green water from the mineral runoff from the mountain glacier. It's uh, got a unique, spectacular, distinct color that is all no name like. And there's something about this mountain, just the streaks, purple, rustic. It's just out of this world, beautiful. I've seen a lot of mountains across several states and I'm telling you, Broken Top is a looker. So between this beautiful mountain and this beautiful lake, my favorite mountain in Oregon, my favorite lake in Oregon, my favorite wilderness area in Oregon, you can see I am a fan. <laughs>